let's see what we got here. So we're going to go ahead and power up the plane. We're going to see how the spring does. Hopefully it'll go okay. Um, it's been probably a good couple months since I've actually started the plane. So um, procedure's a little rough and the checklist unfortunately is sitting at the hangar. So since we're doing a taxi here, I guess we're just going to wing it. Um, anyway, so um, we'll start it up. So we go. We got both cameras here are recording, which is great. We got the camera up front, and we should be good to go. So we got the fuel selector okay there. We'll kick on the fuel pump. We'll give a little prime, and we'll go ahead and give it a try. Clear prop. Caution. Engine monitor. And of course it helps if you have the mags on if you actually want the engine to run. So we'll go ahead and give this a try one more time. Clear prop. Message. Caution. Well, hell, that worked a hell of a lot better. All right, so we got the engine started. We'll go ahead and let things stabilize here for a sec. We'll go ahead and turn off the auxiliary fuel pump. Turn on our nav strobe. And so far, everything looks good. Like to keep it above a thousand RPM until things warm up a little bit. The engine doesn't seem to really like to run below a thousand when it's cold. Also, tends to um, like to run a little bit leaner when it's cold as well. All right, I'll go ahead and taxi around the airport a little bit, see how the spring does. Let's see what's going on on ADIS. All right. East Caution UAS operations, four miles east, northeast Chandler Airport, at or below 300 feet AGL. Advise on this contact, you have November. Chandler Top Mason, November 1847, Zulu N120 at 8. Temperature 21, dew 2.11, altimeter 2987, visual approach and use, landing and departing on ways 4 left and right. East Caution UAS operations 4 miles east, northeast Chandler Airport, at or below 300 feet AGL, advise on this contact, you have November. Chandler Top Mason, November 1847, Zulu N120 at 8. Temperature 21, dew 2.11, altimeter 2987, visual approach and use, landing and departing on ways 4 left and right. East Caution UAS operations 4 miles east, northeast Chandler Airport at or below 300 feet AGL. Advise on this contact, you have November. Chandler Top Mason, November 184. All right, so, so far the steering feels great. No problems with that. The spring's doing exactly what I would expect it to do. Um, I actually had pretty good luck with the bungee and um, actually shaved down the the V angles there, so that was never a huge issue for me. Um, I just I was getting tired of changing the bungee and being in the engine. It just would get heat soaked and um, you know a little bit of oil here and there. It just just did not make me feel good. So ultimately went over with the spring solution and promised myself the next time I had to change the bungee I would. So that's what I did. Going to do one more circuit up around here, go up to the ramp, go ahead and make a UE, and then come on back. Just want to get a little speed here, get the tires bouncing around a little bit. Probably turn over to um, make a left up here to go to the gas tanks, and it's a little bouncy up there, so it might give me a little bit more of a um, spring action. Go ahead, slow down here for intersection. All right, all nice and clear. The one thing I'm hearing that I can kind of feel that I'm not used to is that you can definitely feel the spring going up and coming back down. Um, you can feel a little thump thump um, coming through the firewall on that. Pretty sure that's normal. It's just a feeling I'm not used to feeling. There's a nice good bounce. That should be an interesting thing to view on the camera. Here's our lovely um, gas stations at Chandler, our gas pump. And we'll go ahead and turn back around to the hangar. So 
to raining earlier today and ended up turning out to be an absolutely beautiful day. So um, winds are basically dead and um, perfect sky to go out and fly. So if this all looks good, it'd be very tempting to go up this afternoon. You can definitely tell with the spring um, that it's springy. And by that, I just mean that it that you feel it bounce up and down. Um, it's nice because I can, as I'm uh, taxiing here, I, the plane's definitely moving a lot less than what it would have moved back when I had the bungee. So, the, you know, the spring's doing its thing. Um, it's still a little bit weird for me to hear the actual sp um, spring come up and then the gear come down. It's just not a sound I'm used to. All right, so back at the hangar, we'll do a quick, um, I guess, 180 here, and then we'll pull it in and take a look. <laughs> 